from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Tonight, incumbent Mayor Nadine Woodward says she will not concede the election, despite trailing by a widening gap against Lisa Brown. It's great to have you with us here on a windy Saturday night. I'm Jordan Smith. That announcement came early this afternoon, saying she's going to see this election through until the final vote has been counted. On your screen now is Mayor Woodward's statement from earlier this afternoon, reading, quote, the election results are not trending in a direction that's favorable to me, but out of respect for everyone who has cast a ballot, that has not been counted. I'm going to see this through to the final ballot. I want people to know that voting is important and their vote matters, especially in local elections and particularly on a day where we honor those who have served our country to protect our freedoms and democracy. On your screen now are the current election results. Lisa Brown leading this race with nearly 52% of the votes. Mayor Woodward on your screen there with nearly 48%, a four point swing in the race for mayor. On your screen now are some sites from my neighborhood and you can see the impact from those powerful winds that they had throughout today. This tree completely uprooted along Southeast Boulevard near the South Hill. Those two men helping out their friend, working to remove it, to get that out of the street there. You can see slowing down traffic. And throughout the day, this weather knocked out the power to hundreds of customers throughout the day. At one point, more than 800 people were waiting to have power restored throughout the Inland Northwest. Our weather team has been sounding the alarm on these gusty winds. Matt, if you were outside at all today, you certainly felt them. Yeah, it was hard to miss, right? Even if you were sitting inside, certainly all of the leaves that were still on the trees were getting stripped away from them. And they were uh, at least landing on my windows and trying to uh, trying to annoy us as we went about our day. Obviously, many of you had many much worse, more impactful uh, issues with this wind today. And we hope everybody is doing well this evening. We did have a weather alert day today because of these high winds. And here's some wind reports from around the region where we got, for example, at Pullman, we got close to 60 mile an hour wind gusts in some of the suburbs on the west side of Pullman. We were up to 52 miles an hour in the Spokane Airport. Deer Park hit a gust of 53, so it was a very windy day. Thank goodness, however, that things are a whole lot calmer as we come on the air tonight. These are the current wind gusts around the Spokane Metro. Our hottest gust, 16 miles an hour in Liberty Lake. So things, especially since the sun has gone down, has really fallen off a cliff. And I can say now with confidence that we, we don't have any more wind problems we're going to have to deal with for the rest of the night or the rest of the weekend. Slowly but surely, sustained winds will drop through the overnight and we will end up uh, waking up tomorrow morning with some pretty calm weather conditions. Now, the calm this time of the year does not last for long. We've got a couple rounds of rain that I'm tracking in your first alert forecast coming up. All right, Matt, thanks for that. And we'll turn now to the Palouse tonight, where thousands have been without gas or hot water after an excavator struck a natural gas line that supplies more than 37,000 customers. Tonight, many are still waiting to have that natural gas restored amidst the largest natural gas outage in Avista's history. But progress is being made. That damaged pipe has been repaired. The system that runs hundreds of miles, though, has to be repressurized before gas is relit. Tonight, some good news on the restoration process. Several towns have now been completely relit and several zones have been completed within other cities, Pullman, Moscow, Lewiston, and Clarkston. But families tonight still waiting for their homes to be serviced and they're doing what they can to stage off the cold. Bundling up with blankets, my wife's disabled, so she can't move and so, she, so yeah, but uh, we have a tea kettle by filling up full of uh, a bottle full of water and bundle her up. And Avista tells 4 News Now tonight that each of their teams are averaging about four relights per hour. There are about 900 relights between two and three today in what Avista described as an army of HVAC and utility crews working tirelessly to restore natural gas to the region. They expect every customer to have natural gas back by Tuesday. Well, Washington State Patrol is investigating a fatal car crash involving one vehicle along I-90 near Sprague. On your screen now, you can see what was left behind from that accident, a field filled with debris and that truck that was involved. WSP says one person died at the scene. A second person had been taken to the hospital in Spokane for treatment. 
An unattended candle was the cause of a house fire in Spokane Valley Friday night that killed one cat. The Spokane Valley Fire Department saying that there were also no working smoke detectors within the home. That fire north of the river and east of Barker Road. Spokane Valley Fire Department says all residents were able to make it out safely. Thankfully, crews rescuing one dog and three cats inside the garage. But as we mentioned, one cat unable to make it out was killed in that fire. More than 8,200 house fires are started by candles each year. And fire officials say candles are not recommended in any home. But if you do use them, they do urge you to learn their best usage practices to protect yourself and your family. Well, on your screen right now is Edgar Cassian Garcia and his girlfriend Araceli Medina. They are now back in Franklin County to face multiple charges, including murder and child rape. They've been on the FBI's most wanted list back in February. One month later, they were arrested in Mexico. Over the last few months, law enforcement agencies have been working tirelessly to have them extradited back to the U.S. Well, today is Veterans Day. Community members across the Inland Northwest held events to honor them and also to provide help for those in need. Peter Choi was at those events. Today was all about remembering and honoring those who sacrificed their time and lives for the country. Many veterans tell me they still hold a memory of serving even after decades. On Saturday, the Spoken Arena was filled with veterans. To the many veterans here today, thank you. Thank you for your service. Representing their service for the country. Carrying on the legacy, a Korean War veteran, Gerald Bain. Went to Korea for 13 months. It says Veterans Day is a day that he gets to wear his old military garb once again. I, I can wear my uniform yet, and it just means that, uh, you know, you feel good about what you did. For others, it's a day to be with other veterans who are in the similar journey. It's a day of remembrance. It's a day to honor the people that have served. Stop and remember, a very small percentage of this country has ever served in uniform. Partnering with nonprofit organization Healing Heroes. Headaches. Um, it, it was like three or four headaches a week. Local veterans and their families gather at the American Legion in Post Falls to hear about treatment options for veterans with brain injuries. Overall restoration of your mood, your sleep, your thinking. Dr. Neely Bucklew works with veterans, particularly suffering from brain injuries. I see a lot of vets with uh, various headaches and PTSD. So we were here to talk about um, a specific healing modality. She says it's important for veterans veterans to share their experience for help. We want veterans to know it's okay to say this is my, my problem is I hurt uh, and so that we can actually help them heal. Now if you want to learn how to get VA benefits and help, Dr. Bucklew says contact Healing Heroes. You can find more information on our website kxly.com. Now from one veteran to another, happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service. In studio, Peter Choi for News Now. Peter, thanks for that and thank you for your service as well. And more than 3 million veterans experienced a mental illness in 2021. Nearly half of them didn't seek treatment. And that's according to a national survey on drug use and health. They kind of feel, I can do this on my own. I don't want anybody um, to help me and I don't want to bother other people. Mental health experts say having a support system can help. That includes checking in on them on a regular basis, inviting them to engage in social activities or just exercising with them. All of these things increase their sense of connection and has also been shown to elevate positive mood and psychological well-being. And they also do say look out for any red flags, including severe changes in behavior and inability to fall and stay asleep as they could be signs of mental health crises. Experts say it's important to let them know that help is there for them. And it's important to note that these types of mental health issues can happen to anybody. So if you or somebody you know is struggling, call or text the 24-7 National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988 to speak with a trained counselor for free and confidential support. When we come back here tonight, plenty of news. Ferris High's volleyball team earned their first state title berth in more than two decades. Tonight, the promise that was fulfilled by their head coach as a reward. You won't want to miss it. Plus, it was an action-packed Saturday of college football. The Cougs' chances of a bowl game hung in the balance as Washington State went down to Berkeley to battle Cal. Alex Rossetti is coming back with the highlights.
and we'll show you what's coming up for the rest of your weekend in your forecast. Tonight, we're starting out clear, but we'll actually begin to turn cloudy as the next weather system is not too far away. I'll show you what you should be looking out for for Sunday and beyond. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. The Tire Store for winter tires with no credit hassles. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified. Start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. Dear Road Rivals, you may have four wheels, headlights, and a similar build, but our resemblance ends right there. You see, the Camry's been named best-selling car in America. But cheer up, wannabe twinsies. If you try harder, maybe you can catch up. Later, Toyota. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. I'm Chad Young from TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home. For over 20 years, Snow's Auto has been selling all the best brands at the guaranteed best prices in Spokane. And to celebrate this year's 20th anniversary sale, you can get 20% off all amps, speakers, and subwoofers, 20% off truck and Jeep lifts, 20% off remote starts, and 20% off window tints, plus up to 60% off last year model clearance items. So if you want nice upgrades at big anniversary savings, hurry down to Snow's Auto today. At Cal Cars, we're proud to live in the United States of America. We are blessed with so many opportunities provided by our servicemen and women that this Veterans Weekend, we'd like to pause and give thanks to our armed forces and give everyone a free American flag. When they come for a test drive at any one of our locations and in celebration of this 85th Veterans Day, we'll be donating $185 for each vehicle sold to Heroes Homestead. This week at Cal. The Tire Store for winter tires with no credit hassles. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified. Start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. Welcome back. The Ferris volleyball team won their game this morning against Ridgeline, setting them to state for the first time in over two decades. And not only do the girls get to continue their season, but their head coach has a promise to keep. If her, st if her team made it to state, she said that she would shave her head. And so right after the game, Ferris players, coaches, family, and friends, they all gathered in the gym to watch it all unfold. Each player got to shave a part of Coach Stacy Hazelbaker's head until she was completely bald. And to the girls' surprise, their athletic trainer also joined in on the fun. And now it's back to work for the Saxons as they try to extend their historic season even longer. But you could see it was a moment to soak in smiles all around. They couldn't believe it. Matt, that is an awesome moment. I feel like you and I should do something fun like that. That is an amazing moment. And I got to tell you, from, from someone who had some long hair in high school and chopped it all off in college, oh, it was very, it was very freeing. It's freeing when you cut things a little bit short. I'll tell you that right now. I don't know. Anybody? Bald look? What do you think? I think you can do it. We'll, we'll circle back around to this after an email <laughs> chain with the bosses. All right. The wind's calming down. We're going to be dry, gloomy into Sunday. More rain is on the way for this week. And our temperatures, at least for now, are going to stay on the mild side. But there is a trend I'm watching, which we'll cover coming up in the next half hour. But here is what we're going to see overnight tonight. We did get a decent amount of rain in many parts of North Idaho today, and so we will likely wake up to a little bit of fog. So it'll be even gloomier start than, say, as you head further west into eastern Washington. Mid and upper 30s across the bulk of the area as that cloud cover that's going to move in tonight will help moderate our temperatures. And so everybody's going to kind of end up being in the same ballpark.
As we go through the day, there may be a few peaks of sunshine through that cloud deck in the morning, but by the afternoon and through the uh, through sunset, rather, that's going to be a no go as our next weather system gets closer and closer and closer. And we'll continue to see this streak of weather that's, well, a little bit above normal in the afternoons. Our high is going to be right around 50 degrees in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. We'll be close to 60 on Sunday in the LC Valley. See upper 40s in places like Omac, mid 40s, Calville, Bonners Ferry and sand point let's fast forward and let's talk about that next weather system with our simulated radar so you can see not much going on for most of sunday but then as we headed to sunday evening you can see a little bit of rain pushing in places like omac and republic we'll start to see that snow come down again north cascades highway is closed when will it open maybe spring at the rate things are going with how active the pattern has been over the last couple of weeks now as we watch what happens here as we head through mo or early monday morning you can see it's not a lot of rain, but it's definitely some action going on from Bonners Ferry south into the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene Metro and then south to the Tri-Cities. And this is going to take its time just slowly trundling to the south as we push through the afternoon. And so by Monday evening, we're getting a little rain on the Palouse. We may be looking at a little bit of snow again on Lookout Pass and perhaps a wintry mix in the Silver Valley heading into Monday night. So a couple of things for all of us to watch out for in not all that long from now. As for the next 48 hours, an inch or two on Lookout Pass, Sherman Pass gets two to four, and an inch or two on Stevens Pass. Snow level's not quite low enough to really bother Snoqualmie all that much. But slowly but surely, we're pushing our way closer towards more consistent winter weather, especially up in the mountains. We'll continue to see rain as we head into Wednesday. That'll be our other wet weather system we're tracking this week. Next weekend, we're also keeping an eye on another chance for some wet weather, but Thursday and Friday look pretty nice in your forecast. Well, another Saturday and another opportunity for Washington State to get a win for the first time since late September, as they essentially needed a victory against Cal this afternoon to keep those slim bull hopes alive. Well, opening drive of the game, and the Cougs going for it on fourth and one, and maybe the team that can't run the ball shouldn't be doing the tush push because things like this happen. It's fumbled. Cal's headed the other way for the touchdown. An absolutely disastrous start for Wazoo. Only really got worse from there. To the fourth quarter, Cougs find them themselves down 11 and this won't help Cam Ward is sacked refs say his arm wasn't going forward Noel Williams is going to pick up the loose ball as many Cougar players just stop playing there and that allows Williams to sprint to the end zone another defensive score that proves to be costly well Ward would answer back on the next drive he hits Josh Kelly in the corner of the end zone who comes down with a great catch and after the two-point conversion it's only a 10-point game now they managed to get it down to just three after a wild few possessions and with under a minute to play, Dean Janikowski's kick goes hooks wide left, and that would essentially end the game as the Cougs spiral just continues to get worse and worse. And we are possibly looking at this team finishing the season 0 and 8. Sometimes through the hard and through the suck, you got to find some positive things to rely on, and there will be some positive things again. There's extreme disappointment in this outcome. There's extreme disappointment in this locker room, this coaching staff, our program. I mean, I feel like I'm the big reason. While we were in that situation, uh, I gave them 14 points by myself. Um, so just got to take care of the ball. Now, meanwhile, in Seattle, the Washington Huskies are just a few weeks away from their second trip to the college football playoff. Today, they cleared another difficult hurdle in their November schedule, this time against Utah. Now, halfway through the first, it's a scoreless game, but the dogs knocking on the door. Michael Penix Jr. takes the ball himself, heads to the outside, finds the angle to get the early touchdown. Huskies up, but the Utes came to play today. In the second quarter, Bryson Barnes connects with Mickey Suatoranga for the touchdown to cap off a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and Utah with the lead. Now back comes Penix and the offense. On the next drive, he's going to have plenty of time to throw this ball, finds his favorite time uh, target, Romo Dunze, in single coverage as UW retakes the lead, just the start of a big day for those two. Now to the third we go, Utah back on top, but Penix says enough is enough, finds a Dunze down the field in the end zone for their second score of the afternoon, and the Huskies take back the lead and don't give it up. They win this one 35-27 to improve to 10-0 and give head coach Kalen DeBoer his 100th win as a head coach. I mean, 
you get that many wins because the guys make plays. And, uh, you know, this year that's what our guys are doing. So I'm just, uh, you know, I'm excited to be along for the ride on this one. Uh, just keep coaching them, keep, go keep, uh, keep staying the course, and uh, let these guys have some fun. Now to the FCS level, Eastern Washington in Bozeman taking on fifth-ranked Montana State, and this one got ugly early. In the second quarter, Eagles already down three scores. This isn't going to help. Quarterback Kekoa Vicepiris with a risky throw into coverage that's picked off, and the Bobcats take over at the 50-yard line. On the very next play off a of play action, Sean Chambers goes deep to Ty McClosh, and no one is there within 10 yards of him. He strolls into the end zone for a touchdown to extend that lead. After an Eastern three and out, MSU right back to work. Tommy Mellett hits Scott Tree Hemphrey over the middle. It's a foot race from there. This game is getting out of hand quickly. The Eagles defense just really can't stop anything this year. But what's one more for good measure? Still in the second, Chambers finds another wide open McClouch, and that extends the lead to 41-0. We're not even at the break yet, and they didn't exactly let their foot off the gas pedal. Montana State only ran 25 plays in the first half, but they managed six touchdowns during that time. Eastern Washington is now going to return home for the final game of the season. They will welcome in Northern Arizona next Saturday. Now to Ogden. Weaver State looking to pull off the upset over fourth-ranked Idaho this afternoon. At the end of the third quarter, we're all locked up at 21 until Adrian Cromer takes the handoff, finds his way into the end zone to give the Wildcats the lead into the final quarter. Well, 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 what do we have here? After a Vandals offense stalls for the next few drives, Weber State able to ice this game away with a field goal. They go up by 10 with just over two minutes to play, and there's not much they can do from there. Now, Idaho drops their second game in Big Sky play, and now the odds of winning the conference really take a huge hit from there. They're going to need some math in order to help them win uh, at least a share there, but they should still be in position for maybe a first-round buy, and they probably will be hosting at this point, but we're going to have to see for a couple weeks. Now, how about a little high school football action? Gonzaga Prep in the first round of the 4A state playoffs taking on Chiawana. The conditions in this one could not have been worse. Look at the wind there. The rain just as bad. In the second quarter, though, we got a scoreless game. Bullpups just had to punt away near their own end zone. But check out this boot by Matthew Herzog. In, uh, with the wind, gets a nice bounce. That ball rolls all the way down to the one-yard line. How about that? Backing up the Riverhawks. But the offense able to get some breathing room here. Braxton Feldman takes the handoff, cuts to the outside. That's going to rush for a 17-yard first down gain. They're in business. Later in the drive, Feldman again takes the handoff downfield. There's no one to stop him here. He finds his way into the end zone to give Chiwana the lead. But it would not hold because Gonzaga Prep comes back in the second half, pulls away late. They advance to the quarterfinals next weekend. 4 News Now, we'll be right back. Download the KXLY Plus app for weather every 10 minutes. At Cal Cars, we're proud to live in the United States of America. We are blessed with so many opportunities provided by our servicemen and women that this Veterans Weekend, we'd like to pause and give thanks to our armed forces and give everyone a free American flag. When they come for a test drive at any one of our locations and in celebration of this 85th Veterans Day, we'll be donating $185 for each vehicle sold to Heroes Homestead. This week at Cal. The clock is ticking down to turkey time. And you know we got the deals. During the Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Shop today because the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spent and watch the savings add up. And with the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to design a new living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last, plus six years no interest. There's a lot to be thankful for. During the Black Friday Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. The updated COVID vaccine is available now and at no cost for most people six months and older. If it's been more than two months since your last COVID vaccine or infection, it's time to maximize your protection against the latest variants. The updated vaccine reduces your risk of serious illness or developing long COVID symptoms, even if you've already been vaccinated or infected. So schedule your appointment today. To learn more about the vaccine, where to get it, and how to stay safe and healthy, visit TakeCareWA.org. Bounced from one doctor to the next. Did they even send my lab work? Wait, was I supposed to bring that? Then there's the forms, the bills, the not a bills, the. Press forward and repeat the 
healthcare can get a whole lot easier when your medical records, care, and coverage are in one place. At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together for all that is you. For over 20 years, Snow's Auto has been selling all the best brands at the guaranteed best prices in Spokane. And to celebrate this year's 20th anniversary sale, you can get 20% off all amps, speakers, and subwoofers, 20% off truck and Jeep lifts, 20% off remote starts, and 20% off window tints, plus up to 60% off last year model clearance items. So if you want nice upgrades at big anniversary savings, hurry down to Snow's Auto today. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. The FBI is calling a public safety crisis for what's known as swatting, or fake reports of threats phoned into police targeting schools, churches, hospitals, or even people's homes. The country is seeing a skyrocketing number of these types of calls. Spokane area schools and others in the inland northwest have been victim to swattings, such as Lewis and Clark High School. On your screen now, this video shows the police response to a swatting call from last December. While the reports of a threat are fake, the impact it has on students and the community is very real. The FBI's Brian LeBlanc is teaching law enforcement officers the best way to react. For a long time, the FBI in particular didn't want to discuss these kinds of incidents. Why not? Because we're concerned of the, the copycat effect. So why are we talking now? Because it's reached that level of, of being at a crisis level. The FBI says it's now investigating thousands of these kinds of calls, swatting calls rather, every year. Becoming so widespread, the agency set up a specialized unit to help police departments inundated by these hoax calls make more informed assessments. These calls actually have characteristics that can be used to identify them as hoaxes pretty early on in the process. And based on that, you can have a measured response. We're not saying don't have any response, we're saying have a measured response. And these swatting calls can not only be dangerous, but also an expensive waste of resources, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. If caught, and assuming nobody was hurt, someone making a fake 911 call could face charges like providing false information, wire fraud, even stalking. Well, one of the top 10 teams in college football, the Michigan Wolverines, took on rival Penn State today without its legendary head coach, Jim Harbaugh just banned from the sidelines as the NCAA investigates allegations of sign stealing by his staff. ABC's Morgan Norwood is here now with the latest details. Breaking overnight, legendary University of Michigan football coach Jim Harbaugh pushing back against the Big Ten, now seeking to block his suspension. Oh, touchdown, Michigan! Harbaugh banned from his team's final three games after allegations of a sign-stealing scheme that's rocked the college sports world. For the Big Ten to step in and remove Harbaugh from the sideline for the three games for the remainder of the regular season shows just the depth of what the conference feels that Michigan did in this science stealing scheme. The decision coming down just hours before Harbaugh and his team arrived in Pennsylvania for today's matchup against Penn State, said to be their toughest match yet. The Big Ten finding Harbaugh in violation of its sportsmanship policy for conducting an impermissible in-person scouting operation over multiple years, resulting in an unfair competitive advantage that compromised the integrity of competition. The head coach of Michigan rival Purdue speaking out about the allegations before facing off against the team last week. You know, we know for a fact that they were at a number of our games. You know, we've had to teach our guys a new language in terms of um, some signals and, and we will operate differently. The Big Ten faced growing pressure from other coaches to take action against Harbaugh, who has denied any wrongdoing or knowledge of the alleged scheme. Harbaugh in turn accusing other universities of stealing signs. The Big Ten in its letter called those unsupported by facts. And it said that Michigan's culpability is not dependent on the actions of other institutions. Download the KXLY Plus app for live updates all day. The clock is ticking down to turkey time, and you know we got the deals. During the Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Shop today because the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spent and watch the savings add up. And with the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to design a new living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last, plus six years no interest. There's a lot to be thankful for during the Black Friday Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. 
It's time to say yes to your health care story. The Washington Health Plan Finder helps you find new health plan options like Cascade Care. These plans cover primary care visits, mental health services, and generic drugs all before meeting a deductible. Start your next chapter off right by enrolling in your 2023 health plan at wahealthplanfinder.org. Don't wait until it's too late. Enroll now. It's Snow's Auto's anniversary sale, and that means the best time to get your vehicle ready for winter with 20% off remote car starts. Snow's Auto. Since I was 14, I have been addicted to one substance or another. I know that it may seem hard to finally take that first step, but once you do, it's like running down a mountain and everything snowballs and the Lord works in the best ways, opening doors for you that you never thought possible. Just reach out your hand. Someone will be there to take it. At Cal Cars, we're proud to live in the United States of America. We are blessed with so many opportunities provided by our servicemen and women that this Veterans Weekend, we'd like to pause and give thanks to our armed forces and give everyone a free American flag. When they come for a test drive at any one of our locations and in celebration of this 85th Veterans Day, we'll be donating $185 for each vehicle sold to Heroes Homestead. This week at Cal. Ford News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Ford News Now is brought to you by Numerica Credit Union. Hollywood is ready for lights, camera, and action. sag after board members voting in favor of a tentative contract with studios following a 118-day strike. Now it goes to a vote by union members. ABC's M. Nguyen joins us from Los Angeles with new details about what's in this agreement. Laird! Hit it! Hollywood is back and open for business. <laughs> On Friday, the sag after board approved the monumental three-year contract deal with Hollywood Studios. We began this journey, the largest entertainment union in the world, and we finish it the most powerful. So what's in the deal? Valued at more than $1 billion. Additional compensation for successful streaming shows and a minimum wage increase totaling 11% within a year. And protections surrounding artificial intelligence. Actors will now be informed and paid if studios make any digital replica of their work. Our members remain actively involved in the movement to protect all individuals' rights to their likeness. Without you, we can't win this war. About two dozen TV shows going back to production right after Thanksgiving. I will be having a third talk with your mom about what you're watching at home. Like Abbott Elementary and Grey's Anatomy. Movie sequels like Ridley Scott's highly anticipated Gladiator 2 starring Denzel Washington shut down midway through the strike. Now set to be released in November 2024. Hey Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? And don't worry, Marvel fans, Deadpool 3, starring Ryan Reynolds, promises to hit the box office next July. Actors saying this deal was all the motivation they needed. The idea to make actors crawl their whole life doesn't work anymore. It's time that we are respected and paid. Then we do a really great job on TV. As for what's next, the more than 160,000 sag after members have to vote to ratify the agreement. There will be information sessions throughout the coming weeks to share more details about that agreement. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, progress being made from Hollywood, some good information there. And when we come back on this special edition of Four News Now, we have the latest from the Middle East. Arab leaders declaring Israel bears responsibility for crimes against Palestinians. The death toll in Gaza, more than 11,000. Plus tonight, the unique friendship that was forged after a good Samaritan steps in at the vet. A story you won't want to miss. And we're keeping an eye on some calming winds across the inland northwest after a windy start to the weekend. The back half of the weekend looks a whole lot better, but there are some showers we'll be tracking, and I'll show you when they show up in your extended outlook.
Download the KXLY Plus app for breaking news. The Floor Traders Overstock Blowout Sale going on now. Waterproof click together starting at just 99 cents. Tiles starting at only 25 cents. The Floor Traders Year End Overstock Blowout. Where the Northwest saves on flooring. Corner of Division in Francis. Expect even more from KXLY Plus. Live updates from the 4 News Now team. Breaking news as it happens. Weather every 10 minutes. Free on your time. Download the app. Connect to your streaming TV. And connect on KXLY Plus. Snow's For over 20 years, Snow's Auto has been selling all the best brands at the guaranteed best prices in Spokane. And to celebrate this year's 20th anniversary sale, you can get 20% off all amps, speakers, and subwoofers, 20% off truck and Jeep lifts, 20% off remote starts, and 20% off window tints, plus up to 60% off last year model clearance items. So if you want nice upgrades at big anniversary savings, hurry down to Snow's Auto today. The updated COVID vaccine is available now and at no cost for most people six months and older. If it's been more than two months since your last COVID vaccine or infection, it's time to maximize your protection against the latest variants. The updated vaccine reduces your risk of serious illness or developing long COVID symptoms, even if you've already been vaccinated or infected. So schedule your appointment today. To learn more about the vaccine, where to get it, and how to stay safe and healthy, visit TakeCareWA.org. Four News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. The Floor Traders Overstock Blowout Sale is going on now. Laminate flooring starting at just 69 cents. Carpet starting at only 39 cents. The Floor Traders Year End Overstock Blowout. Where the Northwest saves on flooring. Corner of Division and Francis. Live from downtown Spokane, this is Four News Now Special Edition. Well, are you ready for the holiday traditions? We know Alex Tresenti is. Here's one of the ways that you can kick this year off. Santa will be returning to River Park Square one week from today. You can visit him under the 50-foot tree starting at 1 p.m. And then the tree lighting begins at 5 o'clock. I know that we're not even at Thanksgiving yet, but uh, I think we're all getting ready for the holiday spirit as it's getting colder and darker. I know Matt's very festive. <laughs> He's probably already got his lights up. Uh, not, not, <laughs> not there quite yet. I'm not, not, quite. There, not there quite yet. I'm still a little bit traditionalist when it comes to uh, after Thanksgiving. All this stuff comes out. Maybe Thanksgiving evening it all comes out, but still. I'm a traditionalist. Certainly nothing traditional about the weather today as it was quite windy. We even saw uh, quite a few people lose power around the inland northwest. We saw some tree damage. Thankfully, all of that is past us now. As you can see, sustained winds for the most part are actually below 10 miles an hour. It's still a little windy across parts of eastern Washington, but absolutely nothing like it was earlier today. We've really seen that wind drop off dramatically since the sun has set. And so it is a clear night. You can see a bunch of folks having a nice evening at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. It is 43. Did get some word here and was tracking the possibility of an aurora tonight. So far, however, friends, that looks like a bit, it's a bit of a dud. So don't go off into the fields aurora chasing here tonight as it looks like that is going to be coming a little bit too late for us. Temperatures tonight about 35 degrees in the clouds will roll in for the start of the day. Clouds and fog and then a mostly cloudy day tomorrow with mild temperatures. More rain is on the way for your forecast in the week ahead. Plus, I'm tracking a cooling trend for once around here. All that coming up. All right, Matt, thanks for that. Tonight, the Ponderay County Sheriff's Office wants anyone living near the Sravisti Abbey near Newport to check out their buildings for the missing Tibetan monk, 64-year-old, the 64 year old rather was seen last on Tuesday. If you have any information, contact the Ponderay County Sheriff's Office. 
Washington Land Commissioner Hillary Franz is no longer running for governor. Instead, she's hoping to represent the, late, the state's sixth legislative district in D.C. She would replace Representative Derek Kilmer, who announced he will not seek a seventh term with Kilmer already giving Franz his endorsement. That leaves Attorney General Bob Ferguson and State Senator Mark Mullet fighting for the Democratic nomination for governor. To the Middle East tonight, where Arab leaders calling for an end to military operations in Gaza. More than 11,000 are dead in Gaza, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. Several hospitals in Gaza reportedly under relentless bombardment, including Gaza's main medical center, Al-Shifa Al Hospital, which Israel claims is Hamas's main command post. Here's ABC's Allison Kosick to break it all down. Israel's military released video on Saturday it says shows airstrikes against suspected Hezbollah positions in Lebanon, while Hezbollah has claimed responsibility for two attacks on Israel. Meanwhile, the IDF continues its airstrikes on Gaza. Several hospitals in Gaza say that for the past 24 hours, they have been under relentless bombardment. Patients and staff trapped. Doctors Without Borders surgeon Dr. Mohammed Obeid described conditions at Al Shifa Hospital. There is no electricity actually, there is no water, there is no food, so our team is exhausted. We can see actually the smoking, uh, the smoke around the hospital, they hit everything around the hospital and they hit the hospital many times. Israel has portrayed Shifa Hospital as Hamas's main command post. They have positioned all of their capabilities in, around and beneath hospitals. Saying militants were using civilians as human shields and had set up elaborate bunkers underneath the hospital. Claims both Hamas and Al-Shifa staff have denied. On Saturday, IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari said there is no siege on Shifa Hospital. There is no siege, I repeat, there is no siege on the Shifa Hospital. The east side of the hospital is open on El Wade Street for the safe pass of Gazans who wish to leave the hospital. Israel has been urging Gazans to flee southward, opening up humanitarian corridors. The Israeli military says more than 150,000 have fled in just the past two days, most of them on foot, but tens of thousands still remain in the north, where the fighting is heaviest. Arab leaders met in Saudi Arabia on Saturday, condemning Israel's handling of the war and calling for an immediate ceasefire. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pushing back, saying, Israel's battle against Hamas will continue with full force. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York. When we come back, Matt has a closer look at your forecast. Plus tonight, the unique friendship that was forged after a good Samaritan steps in at the vet. A story you won't want to miss. We'll be back in just a few. Download the KXLY Plus app for weather every 10 minutes. Hobbies, two for seven bucks. Every day. The big beefy boy that started it all. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Turkey, check. Cranberries, stuffing, pie, check, check, check. Potatoes sweet and mashed, check. Now what about that post-turkey nap? Don't worry. The Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress has you covered. Shop today and save $100 on every thousand you spend. Or save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a free $300 gift. Plus six years no interest and free shipping. The Black Friday Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. At Cal Cars, we're proud to live in the United States of America. We are blessed with so many opportunities provided by our servicemen and women that this Veterans Weekend, we'd like to pause and give thanks to our armed forces and give everyone a free American flag. When they come for a test drive at any one of our locations and in celebration of this 85th Veterans Day, we'll be donating $185 for each vehicle sold to Heroes Homestead. This week at Cal. <laughs> bounced from one doctor to the next. Did they even send my lab work? Wait, was I supposed to bring that? Then there's the forms, the bills, the not a bills, the... Press forward and repeat the options. Healthcare can get a whole lot easier when your medical records, care, and coverage are in one place. At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together for all that is you. Today, Grady turns one. Already he plans to wrestle alligators, try his hand at the culinary arts, 
and explore the world. With the Get College Saving Program, you can start saving for their future anywhere in the country. Don't borrow your children's future, build it at 529.wa.gov. Arby's, two for seven bucks. Every day, a classic, a favorite, an Arby's legend. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. 4 News Now is brought to you by Sandpoint Furniture. Well, let's focus in on some trends that I'm watching over the next couple of weeks as we get closer to the important holiday season, or at least the start of it. Here's what we're tracking. Calm and cloudy conditions for your Sunday. As we go through the first part of the week, we got a couple more rounds of rain I'm going to be tracking. And then as we head into the late week, some sunshine comes back out, dry conditions, and normal November temperatures, which have been a little hard to come by so far this month. In fact, over the next four days, our highs will actually creep back down to average, which are in the low 40s. That's this black line here on your screen. And we have been, well, it's not every day, but more consistently when things have calmed down around here, we've seen our temperatures shoot back up towards 50 degrees. So this has been, uh, well, a long time coming here for us to see a bit of a turn towards more wintry weather. And after all, we all want to know when that's coming, right? We got that little preview there a couple of weeks ago. So I'm fast forwarding here because this shows you when we're going to see that nicer weather. We get high pressure that's going to come in for Thursday and Friday after a couple more storm systems early in the week. And so those are the days I think we can rub maybe part of Saturday in there as well. To, it'll really be nice to get outside and enjoy some things. But then as we head through the weekend and then into early Next week, this is something that is going to bear watching here over the next few days. Notice how upper level winds are out of the north and out of the west. That's a good setup for us for some cool, cooler weather and also a good setup for even some scattered snow showers. So something to keep in mind as we get into that uh, kind of week before Thanksgiving here, which is crazy to think about how close it is. But take a look at this as we head through that kind of time frame. The Climate Prediction Center is now putting our chances fairly high for below average temperatures. So once again, as we approach that holiday travel time, these are the couple of trends we're going to be watching. So there you go. That's your reward for staying up late with us, our little sneak preview. In the meantime, we're going to continue to stack up some rain in the rain gauge. We're already over halfway there to having only our second above average rain month here in 2023. It would be shocking if we did not get there considering how well things have gone. We got more rain on the way. Sunday is going to be dry though, so it'll be a little bit nicer than what we saw today. Fairly convenient weather, but here comes that next system. Already we'll see some snow in the North Cascades again on Sunday afternoon, and we'll bring in a little bit of rain for Monday. Doesn't look like anything too crazy right now like we saw earlier this month, but there will be a chance of rain throughout the day on Monday, starting at the north and then tracking to the south here as we head into Monday evening. That's storm number one. Storm number two looks like it's going to be coming in for Tuesday night and then through Wednesday morning, but we'll cross the bridge of getting those details to you when we get a little bit closer. As for tonight, temperatures will be in the middle 30s, pretty much region wide, and we'll see plenty of fog where we got some rain today around North Idaho. We need as much rain as we can as that drought has been hanging around for a long time in the panhandle. Once again, a little bit of fog to start the day, and then we'll see mostly cloudy conditions. We may see a couple peaks of sun right around lunchtime with those highs in the 50s. And here is your extended outlook. Now, we start to see those temperatures in the morning start to touch freezing or getting a little bit below that there late in the upcoming week with some clear overnight skies once we get past this uh, second storm here on Wednesday. Now, keep in mind, as we take a look towards next weekend, we will have a little bit of active weather come in behind that high pressure that'll be here for the end of the week. And so we are forecasting at least a little bit of rain for Saturday and maybe some snow for past travel if you're headed out that weekend. Whew, some good information there, Matt. Thanks for that. 
Well, this hidden gem that we're about to show you is a great place to cool off in the summer, and it makes for some beautiful views here in the winter, too. In tonight's Air Force Adventure, Melissa Luck takes you high above Spokane Valley's Jewel by the River, Mirabu Point Park. Mirabu Point Park has it all for those who love the outdoors. The 55-acre park offers everything from fishing to hiking, biking, and even rock climbing. For most people, the big draw is the river. The granite rock formations make it easy to hike or just sit and watch the flowing water. In the summer, it's the perfect launch site for a kayak or canoe. The trails throughout the park are great for finding different wildflowers, rock formations, and birds. A little off the beaten path, you'll find a canyon where the rock walls offer climbers of all experience levels a challenge. And if picnicking is more your style, the meadows offer wide open spaces with picnic tables and room to throw a frisbee. The park also has the Centennial Trail running through it. Follow it to the west and you can find a favorite summertime swimming hole. Follow to the east and you'll soon be smelling the scent of fresh donuts. So if you're looking for a little adventure, check out Mirabu Point Park. Download the KXLY Plus app for live updates all day. At Cal Cars, we're proud to live in the United States of America. We are blessed with so many opportunities provided by our servicemen and women that this Veterans Weekend, we'd like to pause and give thanks to our armed forces and give everyone a free American flag. When they come for a test drive at any one of our locations and in celebration of this 85th Veterans Day, we'll be donating $185 for each vehicle sold to Heroes Homestead. This week at Cal. If somebody's out there and they're on the streets and they feel lost, I just want them to know that there is hope. And everybody ultimately may give up on you. It's very important that you don't give up on yourself. I know it's hard and I know it's difficult and you feel like you're not going to make it. But if you want to make it, best believe you're going to make it. Even though you don't think you can change, you can. And when you're ready, there are people out there that will help you. Are you tossing and turning at night because you're too hot or uncomfortable? Then you need to experience the life-changing comfort and support from Serta, Beautyrest, and Purple inside Walkers. Walkers offers all the newest sleep technologies, and during our Veterans Day sale, get big mattress discounts on Serta High Comfort Eco and Beautyrest Black Hybrid sets. Plus, save between $100 and $300 on Purple mattresses. Making it the perfect time to improve your sleep for less at Walkers. It's Snow's Auto's anniversary sale, and that means the best time to get your vehicle ready for winter with 20% off remote car starts. Snow's Auto. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. If you're looking for a new Tundra or Tacoma truck, Finley Downtown Toyota has over 70 in stock and ready to go. And if you're looking for a new RAV4, Highlander, or a Toyota 4Runner, we have over 100 in stock with great financing options. And if you're looking for a quality used vehicle, we've got a whole city block full of fantastic choices that come with a three month, 3,000 mile warranty. So if you're looking for a great selection at a great price, you can find it at Finley. More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. In, Fall, in Falls Church, Virginia, an Air National Guard member stepped in when a woman couldn't pay her dog's vet bill over the weekend. Now, the two are using this moment to create a unique friendship. Carolyn Pickett, Patricus has the story. And I tell the Lord, I'm grateful for it all, even though it hurts. Probably the best years of my life. Still heartbroken from the loss of her dog, Yuki, who died just a few months ago. So glad I'm you're so going to be like my new friend. I know the Lord put us in our paths together for a reason. I know. 
On Sunday, Christine Rosalyn, who was at the vet with her dog Nico, and Athena Hunting formed a unique bond, and it's all thanks to their four-legged friends. Look at the boo-boos going away. Yeah, the tubes are gone. Oh, what is... Christine came across Athena and Ziggy at the emergency vet here in Falls Church. The Great Dane just thought she was a rag doll, I guess, and bit her a couple of times. Athena was getting Ziggy treatment for severe dog bites. And so when Athena shared that story with Ziggy, I immediately felt that you connection. I, to you? I, I know, yes, her spirit's in me, I said, you know, and that's when I prayed about it and I decided to help her. Unable to pay the entire vet bill, Athena left on a payment plan, but she had no idea that Christine was going to cover the balance. Looking back 10, 20 years ago, I wouldn't be able to do anything like this. I, I was in the dark. I have my share of struggles. I, I know what it's like to be hungry. Times are, yes, they're horrible, but there is still kindness in the world. And this is what Christine represents. She represents the kind of kindness and empathy. Download the KXLY Plus app for breaking news. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich with fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion or bacon or sausage. Well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. A tranquil lake, a serene sky, an emerald forest, a secret hideout, Thanks for being there, just when I need you most. Always, Toyota SUVs. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move with a new location opening soon, giving you more reasons to join now and be the best you can be. Move Fitness. This isn't the end. I know it feels like it sometimes. I know that it can be such a struggle to get out of bed in the morning, to move forward, just take one more step, but you have to. There's no other choice. You can't continue the way you've been going. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. There's always someone who's going to be there to help you. So you want somewhere to play? We got you. A nice, relaxing stay? We got you. Want to be entertained? We got you. Want to play golf all day? We got you. Go to Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do? We got you. Want some tasty food? We got you. Heard you want to do some shopping? We got you. The live music is always popping at the corner. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond and we bring the fight to the front line. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting NationalGuard.com. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. I think they like each other. <laughs> I'm Charles. Lunch? Vanessa, I like lunch. Give in to deliciousness. Buy one craveable classic and get another one for a buck. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We came back to say goodbye very quickly. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night for the news. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.